Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So I found a new way to test motors where we can actually see the thrust curve and we can actually see the amp curve as well. So I thought it'd be very interesting to do these tests and luckily it worked out just fine. So we're going to be covering quite a lot today and I've been recently very obsessed with the thrust curve because I've used a couple motors where they just felt unpredictable. And as time goes on, we get more data, we'll be able to compare. So what we're looking at today is the Emax Eco 2207 1700 KV. And I'm also going to be showing you the difference of the thrust curve between the 2207 and the 2306. So first, this main video is mainly about the 2207. Everything is linked down below. Also the timestamps, hopefully if I do this organized and I do have a coupon for you in the links below. So let's get started here. Let's make sense of all this data. There's quite a lot of data. I've had to make this video around 25 times already because I just got lost making it. These very linear lines right here, this is the throttle. So I have a script that actually tests this and it just does the throttle very linearly and it takes samples, how much thrust, how much amperage, how much watts it's pulling and everything of that nature. Up top is the thrust, on the bottom is the amp draw. So they are relative, so we can actually grab this line and see how much amp they were pulling. And these are the different propellers I've used, which are the Dal Folds, the 5043 Dal Props, Dal, everything is basically Dal except one, the 5046, 5047, 5145, and the Ethics S5 propeller. Now the Ethics S5 propeller performs quite differently on a 2306 motor, but we're gonna cover that in a later video. It seems to have the most amount of control at the low end because it's outputting the most amount of thrust at the low end, which I found pretty interesting. And this is another thing we can do with this test is that we can also see how different propellers react with different motors, which I find very interesting and you might as well. So let's start with 25% throttle here really quickly. And, uh, or actually I'm gonna show you the throttle curve really quickly. So let's just zoom out a little bit and make this line as linear as possible. So you can see how the, the, the throttle is up and you can see that the thrust curve kind of dips and curves and then it picks back up around this area right here. And we can see the same thing going on with the amp drop. Now with the, what's really nice with the amp drop, we see here it wasn't changing that much. So it means that it, it was most efficient in this area with all the propellers, which would be from, let's go ahead and take a look at this. Okay, sorry about that. So I'm just gonna put that right there. So it's anywhere between 50% throttle roughly to, I think right around here, 75% throttle, it is very efficient. And we can see that the thrust was actually increasing. So uh, that seems we were getting more th more thrust for the least amount of amps we were pulling. So that's, that's a nice thing. We've never been able to see that before. So I really like that we're able to see that now. Now let's talk about the maximum thrust really quickly. There's so much that I'm not gonna go the, like every single propeller, but we had the lowest maximum thrust with the folds at 1,517 grams. And you can see those up here with the folds, this one right there. And the maximum was with the Ethics S5, which was pulling 1,728 grams. So that is roughly 200 grams more than the fold. But everything else was basically on par from the 5046 all the way up to the Ethics, they were basically on par. Uh, the second lowest thrust was the Dal 5043, uh, basically 1,700. So not about 50 grams or so, 30 grams or so difference, right? The 40 actually, for roughly 40 grams difference right there with the 5043s. But the folds really uh, have the least amount of thrust. But the folds, what's really nice with the folds is you're not pulling the same amount of amperage and getting that less thrust. You're actually pulling less amperage and getting less thrust. So it, it gives you more efficiency actually. And no wonder I really like flying them recently. So you don't get that super high top end, but you do get a lot of efficiency. And they're basically spot on. You're, there isn't really a big gap except towards the top end right here is when the fold really loses um, its momentum. Around 80%, 85% uh, throttle is where the fold uh, really starts lacking behind in this area here, which is the purple line right there, we can actually see that it's kind of lacking. Let me zoom in a little bit here. So it's this purple line, you can see the difference. So uh, it, it starts lacking a bit on the top end. So if you're looking for top end, you wouldn't wanna go with the fold. That's what I'm trying to say here. Anything else basically performs kind of on par with each other. Now, if you're looking at the amp draw, which is going to be the bottom one right here, uh, the maximum amp draw we got was 42 amps. And that was with the 5145s. And the next one down was 41 amps. So that was the Ethics S5. And the fold at maximum was pulling 35 amps. So that's uh, pretty nice, actually. 
So that's really it. I'm going to have the Excel sheet or the, the CSV file linked down below so you can go through it more carefully because there would be so much data to unpack and I will lose a lot of people here and I want your suggestions on how to make this better and what else you would like to see. So the CSV file you'll receive is going to have the time, the signal, which is the throttle level. 1000 means zero, 2000 means 100% throttle. And it's going to have the full thrust values, the voltage, the current, the watts for each propeller here on this motor. So that will be linked down below. If I do forget, comment down below and let me know that I forgot because I usually forget a lot of things. So now let's just take a quick sneak peek at the difference between a 2306 and the 2207. However, they don't have the same KV but we're just gonna let that pass for now and just take a look at it because I don't think we've ever seen anything like this. And this is it right here. So let's just, uh, I really like to make it very sharp, like a very sharp linear. So the blue line right here is the throttle and the purple line is the 2306 motor. So the 2306 motor from Emacs is the Emacs Eco 2s is the, uh, the 1900 KV. So there's 200 KV difference. And the green one is the, the one we just looked at, which is the 2207. And again, it's 1700 KV here around this area with the 2306, uh, the motor overheated because we were running it quite a lot after each other. My assistant didn't know you're supposed to wait a bit uh, on this one right here. This was the first one he started testing. So, yeah, just ignore this part right now. Uh, we'll get to see that in the official video once I finish testing them properly. So what we see here is that the 2207, even though it's less KV, but we could kind of get an idea, you get a more linear throttle or thrust with the 2306 than the 2207 right here. So let's put an event line and actually take a look at this uh, in, in better detail. So this would be here and that would be there and that would be here. So we can see that the difference of a thrust between them around the 50, or this is actually 60% throttle. I think this is the point where the difference was really big. It's actually pretty big. It's around 100 grams of thrust difference, actually more, whoa. 200 grams of thrust difference. Look at that. That's crazy. So around 65% throttle. We see that the difference in thrust is, is around 200 grams. That's crazy right there. So what does this say really? Well, it's really hard to say anything because the KVs are different. So obviously they're going to be spinning at different speeds, but you can see the curve difference here uh, compared to the, uh, to the throttle. And it seems that the 2306 is more linear. And you can see that it really picks up towards the end. And um, it's just, it, we're just gonna need more data, but I just thought it was very interesting to look at and get your guys' opinions and thoughts about this. And I can't wait to get more motors in and start comparing these and actually get more data that's very comparable, especially with the same KVs and see the, the difference we see here. And uh, I still don't know how this relates relates to real life. This is still too early. This is the first test I've ever done like this. And I really hope you guys enjoy it because if you guys don't, I'm going to stop making these because they take so much time to make. It's insane. Um, so if it's getting like four or 500 views, there's no, there's no, there's no reason to do it actually. Uh, but this was a really nice way to put numbers on these motors and it seemed to be very well. And, uh, just wait for the 2807s and the 2306s to be tested. And I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. The links are down below to the motors and come join my Patreon. I do a ton of giveaways there. Why don't you join? Um, there's a lot of benefits you get there and also check the links down below. There's a lot of things you could benefit from such as my FPV social media platform, which is called FPV link and also ask FPV. If you have any questions related to FPV, you go there, ask the whole community would jump in and help you. It's pretty insane. Actually, it's taken off quite good. Like really good. I'm so happy for that. Everybody's getting helped and it's just really nice to look at. And well, that's it guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.